Hi, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about some emerging details about Glenn Mazar, the show's frontrunner for The Walking Dead, uh, being fired. Okay, so whether or not this is true, I don't know 100%. Obviously not confirmed, something being reported by the Hollywood uh, Reporter, so a pretty reputable source, but they're basically saying that insiders were the ones who kind of let this information out, that it's possible that Glenn Mazzara may have actually left the show as a result of Robert Kirkman and him, as well as others, you know, not getting along, kind of uh, clashing with their ideas and... Um, kind of getting frustrated with each other. Uh, I'll put the links in uh, the description to the two articles that, uh, that relate to the show uh, best uh, with this, with regard to this. And uh, so you can click on them and read them yourself if you like. Uh, to go through the first one, this is from uh, io9.com. It's got an excerpt from it. It says, um, when a network fires two showrunners in less than 18 months from its biggest hit and one of the most successful franchises on television, that is sure to make waves in Hollywood and with fans. So no matter how AMC tried to spin the December 21st departure of Glenn Mazzara from The Walking Dead as just one of those amicable things, uh, insiders rolled their eyes, especially because the network let go co-creator Frank Darabont in July 2011 and has had high-profile spats with uh, writer-producers on its hits, uh, Mad Men and Breaking Bad. Uh, several insiders confirmed that Kirkman, whose detailed graphic novels form the basis of the series, very proprietary, is very proprietary. <coughs> As one puts it, uh, one adds, I believe Robert Kirkman wants to maintain a certain amount of control, and AMC needs Robert Kirkman for the fan base, but despite uh, the vitriol, uh, some sources involved with A Walking Dead say Kirkman was one of the several producers on the show who had issues with Mazzara and his vision. One source says Mazzara's shortcomings in running the series during most uh, the most recent third season became abundantly clear, especially for the second half of the season. The source says production was shut down several times because of a lack of material. So that's very strange. I mean, there are a few other things here, but that's that's the excerpt that's shown from uh, the Hollywood Reporter. And I think it was published in their, their magazine too about the, about the series. So that's kind of very strange to hear. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that I had sort of been thinking a little bit about from The Walking Dead um, third season, which is that, man, are they really blowing through a lot of material at once like that? maybe too fast like they they've sped up the show to such a point where they're just going through the comic book storyline so quickly that i almost have to sit down and think to myself like geez man like they're they're going through this too fast compared to the other seasons i think and uh, at this rate you know the governor's storyline which lasted so many graphic novels is getting wrapped up really quickly you know we're almost getting to the point now where we're like a good solid halfway through getting close to maybe the end of where that's going to happen so what they're going to do to sort of you know span that out or you know do something with it in 16 episodes it's hard to say i mean when you push that kind of a pace episode by episode you have two characters dying in the same episode you have, um, you know, all these different things happening so fast. You bring in new characters with the prison inmates. You kill them off in the same episode. These are a lot of things that they could have definitely had last longer, putting in maybe some more dialogue between the characters, getting them to reflect some more. And uh, the, the pacing of the show has been very peculiar. Uh, for example, Rick's situation now, we're already, for the mid-season finale, uh, well into it, uh, something else happening after Laurie's death in the show. And you would think that they could have at least had one or two episodes where Rick was sort of reflecting on that. Because obviously that was a huge event to happen play, uh, in The Walking Dead. And to just kind of have that one episode, have him deal with it a little bit in the next episode, and then blow right by and just continue on with the story. Um, and not have him sort of, you know, be, you know, in a in a the type of state where he's just like, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, like just extreme sadness and depression and not able to really do anything and have to have maybe somebody else take over and, you know, call the shots for a while and do that kind of stuff. That pacing has made them go through the comic book storyline so 
fast that it's uh, it's crazy. But I don't know if, if that entirely is the, the, the showrunner's fault. I mean, I'm assuming they have writers for each episode, you know, go through and write them. So I don't know if that was a production thing from the get-go or why, or maybe if they were thinking, we don't know if the show's going to continue on past season three. So let's get a lot of this stuff done with, uh, you know, now. It's, you know, really hard to say. Of course, we're speculating completely, but I would have to think that that probably has a lot to do with it. Because, I mean, them saying they're running out of material, I don't think that really makes sense entirely, but it almost kind of feels like to me, for the governor's storyline, at the rate they've been going, they may run out of material with regards to the prison and that whole sequence between Woodbury and, uh, and the prison. Uh, meaning they didn't spend enough time there and they didn't slow things down enough and the pacing was just too fast. Um, so that's definitely something I, I could see. And uh, there is a downside to going so fast like that too. A lot of people love it and all of that because they get, we get to skip all the slow parts and stuff like that. So, you know, but uh, the downside that I see to it is, is that you're going to go through the, the comic book series storyline so fast that uh, by the time season five or six comes out, will be basically caught up uh, unless they go a different direction. They do something totally different that wasn't in the comic book series at all and do something totally new, which I'm actually a big fan of. I'd like to see some different environments that we didn't get to see in the, uh, the comic book series. So, you know, after they leave the prison or whatever happens with that, have them go to some other place or something like that and have them spend a season in a place that they were not in in the comic book series. Maybe have them spend a season on the road or something like that would be very cool. Um, so very interesting stuff. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video on it, just talking about that. Uh, definitely not a good sign that we've lost, uh, the show's lost two uh, showrunners like that, you know, in, in three seasons, which is it's nuts, really, if you think about it. Um, and hopefully, you know, this won't be a continuous problem in the future, you know, where they each last like one and a half seasons or something. Hopefully they can get someone in there that doesn't, you know, conflict with Robert Kirkman if that's the situation, and uh, they can, um, you know, have them stay for at least a few seasons because I think this show could get seven to ten seasons out of it easily. You know, if Smallville can get ten seasons, The Walking Dead could get ten seasons. Guar guaranteed. Uh, if they do it right. But with all this trouble and people getting fired and things happening, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I mean, obviously season four is confirmed and the money's there. The views are there for them. The ratings. So they'll keep doing it. But... Um, Behind the scenes trouble is not good because other things can kill shows, uh, you know, aside from just, you know, the view, like the ratings, stuff like that. You could get great ratings, but if you have trouble behind the scenes or you have actors, you know, ducking out and this kind of stuff happening, it can cause a lot of problems for sure. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say about the, uh, the topic of possibly um, Glenn Mazar and Robert Kirkman fighting and, and conflicting some of the other producers and him leaving. Um... I can definitely see it, and I can definitely see the point that they're maybe running out of material, or maybe they just they just don't really know what to do, or they're trying they're going to try to fill in some spots. So that doesn't sound good for the second half of season three. We may see some some slow parts or some filler or stuff that doesn't feel right. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say for this one, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Same piece.